are you creating citations for growing your google business profile if not and you don't know how to do that in today's video i'll be covering up complete step by step process how you can create citations where, where you are going to get those websites to create citations on and how to use ai to use these and how to use ai to create these citations effectively and in a faster manner Hello guys, I am Gaurav Agrawal and in today's video, I will be sharing complete step by step process related to citations. But before I proceed towards creating citations and sharing the step by step process by taking you to my computer screen, I would like to share with you a reason why you should create citations for those who already know about citations and they have already created citations for promoting their Google business profile. Uh, this is not for them but guys for those people who don't know about citations this brief intro of citations is very very important guys so guys citation is nothing but creating listing of your google business profile means your business on different different websites uh, like listing websites where businesses are listed and the main thing there is guys the information should be exactly same like your google business profile the main point is the nap the nap and apw in fact name address phone number and website should be exactly same and there are few more things that we we'll learn in this process so i think you must have understood what citations is and when you create listing about your business on different different websites which have a high crawl rate of google crawlers so definitely google gets good signals about your business and thus it starts ranking your google business profile so it's very very simple you must have understood why you need to create citations guys so now we'll jump on directly to start creating citations i'll show you one citation i'll show you how you can create it although it's very very easy and using gbpgm app it's further more easy guys because here you take help of ai and lot other things that we'll be discussing just now so guys as you can see on my computer screen this is our app gbpgm app which is in the web version for this tutorial and uh, you can also download gbpgm app by going to google play store else you can always use the web version on tools.localseotoolsandtips.com as you can see the url on top guys and i won't be explaining how to start using it because for that other videos are created in this playlist and guys it's simple if you are going to use it for the very first time then you have to click on this get started button and you have to log in with that gmail id through which you have a google business profile you have to do google auth you don't have to share any passwords anything because this login is actually via google authentication where google doesn't share any information with us they just authorize and provide that information directly to the app data and we don't save it only your email id is saved which is actually uh, no big deal because you share your email id with lot of people so it's nothing very secretive and guys no other information is saved when you are doing this auth process you will be receiving few permissions option you have to give those permissions because those permissions we are not taking it's taken by google to share your google business profile data via this apps platform so i'll click on get started and i'll just directly land to my google business profile uh, as you can see on the screen if you have multiple google business profiles it will ask you to select any one of those in my case i already selected it so it's showing directly the same google business profile for citations guys you have to go to this tools option then you have to click on citations manager guys so guys it's very very simple uh, please take uh, please understand everything carefully step by step what i am going to share just now so guys here you can add your own website as well where you want to create citations but we are providing approx to 4 to 500 websites for your support and these are all approved websites so as you can see these are websites listed here which you can sort like first option is why otp 
few websites actually ask you OTP for authorization before they actually start listing your uh, website they start listing your website they just ask for authentication and most of them don't ask for it so you can just sort these websites accordingly if you do yes uh, which are according to OTP so it will sort that according to OTP guys and you have to just click on this search icon here after selecting the option like you can see it's showing only one another is guys classified if you want classified if you don't want classified you want all websites then you can select all websites as well as i am going to do just now and i'll just select on search and as you can see after i selected on search it's showing more number of websites because i'll tell you what classifieds are guys like in newspapers you get those advertisements in an advertisement page those were known as classified similarly websites are also showcasing your advertisements and here in case of classified websites you can create citation multiple times you can create citation related to different products and service repeatedly so it's not one time and those which are not classified actually if you select no guys and these you have you can create citation or listing only for one time so this was a difference you can select according to your country you can select according to your business category as well and you'll get the data by clicking on this search icon after selecting the criteria now our next step is guys say for example i want to create a citation on any of these like uh, say i say this particular website i select i can select more websites also i select two and i'll just select for which month i am going to create citation and the year as well and click on create guys don't get confused on clicking create it won't create it by yourself it will just create a log for this right citation you have to create manually you'll click on create now guys in the next tab of citation status you can see these two websites added now you will create a citation manually on this you will add the link which you get finally there you can even save your email id and password because uh, these email id and password it's just a log it's optional if you don't save no issues guys but it's for your reference and it's all encrypted so no don't need to worry no one is going to access it guys it's only for your convenience that in future if you want to change uh, any data in that citation maybe your address is changed or phone number is changed then definitely it will be of use for you else otherwise you will have to save it somewhere you won't get to know what username email id or password you kept for that particular citation so it's up to you whether you save it or not and if you save this link guys here what help you get from our application is in case of clicking on get report it will actually check for all those websites for the citations you have added here you have created citations and it will tell you the status of those citations whether approved or not approved working or not working because a lot of time it happens you create a citation and in future they uh, actually stop it they can remove it because these are all free citation websites and sometimes it even doesn't get approved so you'll get to know the status current status of what the state of, of all your citations you have created till date is so this get report section is very very useful and if you save this link here then definitely you can get this report so guys it's I told you works like that even you can import citations that you have already created in past and that will also be checked by this system on click of import you will get this kind of uh, format you can click on this and download the format and add those citations according to this format then upload it and it will be done if your format is correctly added means if you have added the data in a correct format guys now the best part guys when you create citations you need a lot of information as i told you the nap napw name address phone number and website should be same and in fact you need few more information that we'll be discussing just now so all this information as you can see here is coming from google when you are doing auth google is just directly displaying it here we are not saving it anywhere so it's simple when you're creating a citation you'll just click on this name it's copied you'll paste it there click on number it's copied you'll paste it there 
Similarly, you click on address, it's copied, you will paste it there. Similarly, pin postal code, state, city, country, you can copy and paste and website also guys. It shows you a lot of information if it's required in the citation like latitude, longitude, opening date of your business that you can yourself save it actually or it will be actually retrieved from Google if you have actually saved it there. Review link guys, it's created by our system for your convenience. It's a separate thing. It's related to review management. You can watch the review management things and it's really, really useful. Profiling it automatically generates working hour it takes from your profile email. You can save it guys and that will really be helpful for you when you create citations to get data at one place. Owner name you have to save, business drive you have to save and asset link guys. At asset link means a Google Drive link or any other uh, web drive link you can take where you upload your business logo and photograph. So you need business logo and photograph while creating a lot of citations. So here if you uh, are actually uploading it here you don't need to search them again and again even if you are giving access to any of your staff to create it for you then definitely they can just open this Google Drive and this drive link guys should be a shared one shared for everyone then only it will work so your staff will just copy it and paste it in the browser and they'll get that logo and photograph for the citations now the login email id and password you can also save for your staff that they'll use for every citation so they don't put their own email id that will be of very uh, that will become very difficult in future if you want to edit it so just ask them to keep this email id only and the same thing we are going to save in the citation column there against email id there can also be a username guys as per the citation website what they provide types of services you can add you can add pricing you can add services here you can add local keywords here guys and our tool provides an option of local keyword research guys it's just like google keyword planner you can actually put your categories there and get the related keywords which are actually ranking and and when you get a keyword result there you can click and check whether those keywords that you have selected with high search volume are used in local business profiles or not and a complete tutorial for the same is also provided for local keyword uh, search you can watch that i'm not going to tell it here whatever keywords you choose there and save it there it will be reflected automatically here guys for your use now the last thing guys you can add your social media links which are required in a lot of citations it will be helpful and handy for you just click from here and copy and paste it there now guys the most important thing whenever you create a citation you need a title and description and for that we provided AI here and what you can do is you can just actually type some keyword for which you can you want to create a title and description or you can select from the given list which is from those local keywords saved or your categories guys. So I am just going to type one for you. I am not going to select it from here because just want to show that you can type it by yourself also guys. So I have just added digital marketing agency for GMB Google my business or you can do Google business profile GBP and you'll click on generate guys. So guys as you can see the title is generated the description is generated you can edit it here as well and then click on this plus sign and it will add here guys so every title and its related description they are just in opposite to each other so it's very easy you copy uh, this title you copy this description and just paste it in the citation so this is how you can use this content at one place using creating a citation now we'll see how to create a citation by trying from one website so I'll just click on this website open a link in a new tab and this will open up guys and as you can see this is a website and it provides you different different countries as well and you can submit your citation here so I'll just select so I have to select some business category you can just select according to your business so here you can see this add listing option you have to create that now guys 
you have to click on this add listing option guys suggested category guys you have to put on the category you can put your primary category here or secondary category as you wish url of your website as i told you will just come here and i'll just cop click here it is copied now i come here and paste it guys it's simple title again i told you we generated and i'll click on this title guys it's copied i'll paste it similarly description keywords owner name email id username password as we discussed repeated you have to again enter those password and guys this way you can actually add all these things uh, agree to their terms and condition and add site so this way guys your citation can be added very very easily using this tool and once you add a citation you get a unique link there and that link you have to save here against this you just have to paste it here it will be automatically saved you don't need to click on any button to save it you can even save the user id and password it's optional but if you want you can save it for your future reference and it's all safe as i told you guys so guys this was a complete process of creating a citation and how gbpgm app uh, can be of help to you for creating these citations i've told you everything now it's up to you if you want to use it you can definitely go for it i would like to tell you that this is a premium feature guys in the free version of this app you don't get citation management because it's uh, a premium feature so you need to subscribe for the premium plan and there are a lot of discounts being offered guys you can just go with those discounts and subscribe for the premium version so i'll be there with some other video till then start using gbpgm app and start growing your google business